For many decades, the Karanamon people have been persecuted by the military government of Burma. It is estimated that there are around 2 million displaced Karanamon living on the Thai side of the border, stateless and without any legal rights. What they find in Thailand is often no better than what they escaped from. The high hospital fees for non-Thai citizens means most Karen Amon are effectively denied access to health care. With diseases like malaria, dengue fever, HIV and tuberculosis rampant, this denial can prove fatal. Children of the Forest is a project aimed at providing protection, education and health care to Karen Amon children and mothers in most urgent need living in the Senglabari border zone. In 2007, with the generous support of a sponsor, Children of the Forest began the implementation of a basic child health care program. Today, with EMA Foundation support, Children of the Forest Project now employs two qualified medical staff. A Thai registered nurse adds legitimacy to their program. Also, their medics' years of experience in border zone clinics, as well as the ability to communicate in several local languages, make their in-house and outreach medical work highly effective. Around 15 people per day visit the bamboo clinic. Sometimes they get there too late and their disease is already too advanced. With limited medicines and equipment, children of the forest medical staff do the best they can. Whenever they can, they use natural medicines for minor complaints, such as stomach aches, coughs and colds, mild fevers, aches and pains and flesh wounds. Recently, ground mango leaves have been successfully used to break the high fever that dengue fever brings. Children of the forest medics visit the villages and settlements in the Senglabari border zone. On finding sick children, they assess the seriousness and if necessary and whenever it is possible, they get the child or mother to a hospital and assist with medical bills. Children of the Forest Free School for 350 stateless children also serves as a valuable means to locate sick boys and girls. They often find children coming to the school with serious illnesses such as malaria, tuberculosis, dengue fever and HIV. To ensure that the poorest and sickest children in the Senglabari border zone can have the best chance possible to make a full recovery, the healthcare team provides rice, milk and other staples. With the rapidly growing HIV problem in Senglabori, they have also been required to support HIV children and formula milk to HIV positive mothers with babies. In 2006, Children of the Forest opened a mother and child protection centre that allows abandoned and often seriously abused mothers to heal and to remain with her children, reforming their relationship in a safe environment. Abandoned mothers are particularly vulnerable in this border area. With no social welfare, the death or departure of their husband leaves them in a critical struggle to provide their sons or daughters with the most basic necessities. Our medical team support both the mother and her children on the road to new hope and opportunity. Two years ago, Children of the Forest opened three safe houses. They're simple bamboo houses with grass thatch roofs located on the border. This program provides protection and medical care to stateless mothers who have been seriously abused, often raped and who cannot pass through the Thai military checkpoints to access Children of the Forest's main project site. Today, Children of the Forest Clinic provides first-line medical assistance, advice and in serious cases, referrals to around 400 children and mothers per month.